the Antichrist will be a prince, Daniel 7 verse 8 and 9 verse 26. Unlike most European and Western leaders, Macron is technically a prince. Macron became co-prince of Andorra, a small principality located between France and Spain, at the same time he assumed office. The remaining royalty in Western and Northern Europe have little or no power and are essentially just figureheads. But this particular royal has rocketed to power since he also holds the highest executive office in the country. Because of his party's sweep of legislative elections, some articles are even calling him a monarch who can rule by decree. O texto é dizer, quanto a ti príncipe, o anticristo tem que ter uma característica, uma das mais fortes é, ele tem que ser um príncipe. Jared é príncipe, Jared é príncipe, Jared nunca foi príncipe, Manuel Macron é príncipe de Andorra. Macron significa o grande, significa também grande marca, está ligado com a marca que ele vai implantar no mundo inteiro. E também lá no livro de Daniel, capítulo 9, versículo 26, 27, diz o príncipe que há de vir. Então, o, o anticristo, o antimachia, ele tem que ser um príncipe. Jared não é príncipe, Macron é príncipe, ele é o príncipe de Andorra. The Antichrist will be of Roman descent, rising out of the revived Roman Empire, the European Union. Daniel 9, verse 26. Macron is a citizen of Europe with Roman ancestry through both sides of his family, and his country, France, is part of the revived Roman Empire, EU. Macron is working on uniting Europe, which will be a return of this power, and is currently leader of one of the two most powerful countries in the EU. O mais interessante que esse exército que Emmanuel Macron está querendo criar nos leva a refletir nas profecias de Daniel aonde ele fala sobre o sonho de Nabucodonosor. Nabucodonosor teve um sonho de uma estátua e ele pediu a interpretação desse sonho. Daniel interpretou para ele que cada parte dessa estátua representava um reino que haveria de governar a terra. Daniel disse para ele que a cabeça da estátua era o reino de Nabucodonosor. Os braços da estátua, Daniel disse que seria o próximo reino que viria, os Medo e Pérsia. Chegando no ventre da estátua, Daniel mostrou que seria a Grécia que governaria o mundo. As coxas da estátua representavam o Império Romano que governou o mundo. E a última parte da estátua, que são os seus pés, representa o Império Romano que se dividiu em 10 países. E hoje esses 10 países faz, fazem parte da Europa, onde se localiza Emmanuel Macron. E o que, que nós estamos vendo acontecendo agora diante dos nossos olhos? Emmanuel Macron se levantou e disse que quer a cooperação de 10 países para formar um só exército, para criar um só reino. I'm not saying he is the Antichrist, but I am not saying he's not. We've never seen anybody arise like that. In 2016 he was not known. Now he is the center of all European politics, and he's quickly becoming the most influential politician in the world. Our Congress gave him a three-minute standing ovation. Our Congress gave him.
Enquanto isso, o presidente da autoridade palestina, Mahmoud Abbas, disse que não vai mais aceitar nenhum plano de paz proposto pelos Estados Unidos e que o país deixou de ser um mediador honesto. Abbas fez um apelo para que a França e a Europa desempenhem um papel mais importante, mais forte nos esforços de paz. by multiple Israeli outlets, a foreign ministry political director recently told a closed-door session of the Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee that France would promote its own peace plan if U.S. President Donald Trump did not release his own shortly after next month's midterm elections. Multiple members of the committee corroborated the basics of the story. Also, some think the Antichrist will be a Rothschild or one of their puppets, a must for all Antichrists with the love of global financial domination. Macron is very smart economically, having worked for the Rothschilds Banking Corporation. In 2008, Macron became an investment banker with Rothschild and, surprisingly, was promoted from an entry-level position with the Rothschild banking system to a partner after just two years. In just one meeting, Macron convinced the Rothschild banker to make him a partner within three hours of talking to him, which the banker said was unprecedented. He made a $10 billion deal there, earning his nickname the Mozart of Finance, and has a net worth of already $32 million, despite saying he's not a millionaire in his presidential run documentary. Graças ao presidente francês que resolveu a crise libanesa nos últimos dias, Emmanuel Macron foi até a Arábia Saudita e conseguiu convencer o príncipe do país a liberar o premier. O Macron foi simplesmente genial. Haaretz News had this to say about Macron. When he takes the stage at rallies, you can feel Emmanuel Macron's messianic dimensions, the audience's near sexual ecstasy, his followers' blind faith his speechwriters' evangelical messages. People yearn to get a picture with him, speak with him, touch him. Macron's friends describe how the president is a grand seducteur, a man who uses his prodigious gifts to get whatever he wants. The Financial Times, quoting a source who has known Macron for years, detailed how he seduces everyone and then he kills. The FT source says Macron is always charming, especially with enemies and those hostile to him. Vantagem de 66% dos votos válidos. 